What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, let's talk strategy for a minute. So I know there's a lot of new subscribers to the channel and some of you may be new to this, some of you may be veterans, and there's some things that I've learned over the last few years that I think may be helpful for some of you out there. Now, I think everybody could agree that CASPA has a lot of excitement around it. You're most likely mining that, and you're worried that these ASICs that are coming out may ruin your ability to turn a profit mining CASPA, and therefore you're looking at other coins. Perhaps that's Radiant or Nexa or Dynex. A lot of different options out there for you. Now, when I first started GPU mining, really the most profitable thing to mine consistently was Ethereum. But then, of course, we had the Ethereum merge, and we've had a lot of different coins take the top spot in most profitable to mine. Now, about five months ago, I posted a video talking about difficulty versus yield of coin. Let's see if I can find this. There we go. So, yeah, this one right here. And as you can see, this chart, this is yield of coin going down while the difficulty is going up. And, you know, in the past, when you're just mining Ethereum, you weren't really paying attention to a lot of the other coins. But over the years, I've started to learn a few things. And I want to share a strategy with you guys that I think could be extremely helpful in case you weren't already aware. Now, I know some of you are already aware of this, but let's just talk about it for a minute. So if we take a look at... Uh, my little watch list here of mineable coins we're going to sort by what's had the biggest pump over the last seven days so meow coin is coming in on top with 564 percent increase over the last seven days followed by neoxa at 206 percent then radiant at 186 percent dynex at 75 percent currently up 34 percent today octa uh we talked about this in a video maybe about a week ago a new coin to mine. Uh, Lithium's up about 46%. Ergo's up 43%. Flux is up 20%. Caspa is still up 15%, but down 4.5% uh, roughly for the last 24 hours. And, you know, I know a lot of people have been watching my overclock video for Radiant. And so I know a lot of people are switching to Radiant. And in fact, we can see that reflected in the difficulty on Radiant. So if we take a look at hash rate first, you can see we're currently at an all-time high on Radiance difficulty. And if you go take a look at what's the most profitable thing to mine across all GPUs, you're going to see Radiant consistently being in the top spot. However, you know, the difficulty is at an all-time high. So what happens if the price on Radiant pulls back and you've got all of your rigs pointed to this, we're going to find pretty quickly that Radiant is not the most profitable thing to mine and it's going to switch to something else. And for that reason, it's very important to pay attention to charts like this on hashrate.no. And what I want to point out in these charts here is the far right hand graph that you see here. And you'll notice on Nexa, the yield of coin is going up. On Meow coin, the yield of coin is going down. This would be the yellow line here. Neoxa, it's going down. Uh, let's see, Chlor, it's going down. Radiant, down considerably. And I know Caspa is going to be down as well. Uh, Octa.space, also down. Alephium, down. And perhaps when the difficulty goes down of course the yield of coin is going to go up but that doesn't always mean it's going to be the most profitable thing to mine because that depends on the price so you've got all these different things that you need to consider and i made this little chart here comparing difficulty across a bunch of different coins so on the first one here we've got dynex nexa radiant and caspa and you can see all four of these, the difficulty is as high as it's ever been. 
and it doesn't look like it's coming down with the exception of Nexa looks like it's coming down and I think Nexa is coming down because of the the recent pump in Radiant and it being the most profitable thing to mine so I think a lot of people are switching off of Nexa and on to Radiant but guess what I'm probably going to be doing the opposite of that and I'll explain why here in just a moment so if we take a look at a few of the other ones so Xano is pretty much sideways Conflux had some massive news recently uh, where one of the telecom communication companies in China ha is using it to produce SIM cards on the blockchain. And so difficulty spiked like crazy, then it came back down, price of Conflux went back up, and then so did difficulty, but it's kind of trending down a little bit. Uh, Ravencoin's been around a really long time, obviously. Not a whole lot of development going on, not a lot of news around Ravencoin, and as you can see, difficulty has been trending down. And kind of the same thing with Ergo. Ergo was actually my favorite horse in the race prior to the Ethereum merge for the next go-to coin to mine, but unfortunately I think they made some poor choices on a few things, and that seems to be reflecting in its popularity. And then we've got Meowcoin, which difficulty has just skyrocketed over the last 48 hours. Alephium difficulty has also been trending up. Neoxa difficulty was trending down for a while, but here recently, uh, with the increase in price, the difficulty is also increasing there. Flux, of course, had its halving, and the yield of coin has gone down, causing it to be one of the least profitable things to mine. So, of course, difficulty is heading down as well. But eventually, Flux's price will go up while the difficulty is down, and it will become one of the most profitable things to mine once again. So my strategy, because I do not sell immediately, is to take a look at something that is heading back up in the right direction on yield. So Neoxa, or excuse me, Nexa specifically, let's take a look at the hash rate chart real quick. So you can see we peaked out on April 11th at about 24 and a half terahash, but currently we're sitting at 21.69 terahash. And if we take a look back at GPU profitability, you can see we're not far away from being the most profitable to mine on a 4090 as opposed to Radiant. So imagine Radiant's price drops a little bit the hash rate increases some more, well, what do you think is going to happen? Nexa is probably going to be the most profitable thing to mine within the next 24 to 48 hours, perhaps, unless there's some massive changes in the prices. So one other thing that I highly recommend doing, and in case you guys haven't caught the video, I will leave a link down in the description below, but you can connect your entire farm to hashrate.no using an API key. And if you do that, it's gonna pull in all of your hardware and all of your rigs. And you have an option here to estimate your yield for all GPUs. So if you click this button here after entering your farm information, we'll select calculate. Now, what did we see was the most profitable thing to mine typically right now? It's Radiant, right? But, Depending on what GPUs you have, if you have a variety like me, look at this. Chlor is actually coming in on top with a significant difference between the next most profitable thing to mine. So Chlor is showing a revenue of about $40 a day with a profit of $23.96. And if we take a look at the second most profitable thing to mine, guess what? It's not Radiant, it's Nexa coming in at $28.68 a day in revenue, $18.30 a day in profit. Now, Radiant's pretty close here, uh, but you can see that the revenue is down a little bit more than Nexa, but the profit is pretty similar. And I'll just scroll down so that you guys can see what else is profitable to mine. So, Chlor, unfortunately, is, uh, I believe, Kapow. And I don't typically mine Kapow on my GPUs. It's a little bit too hard, produces a little bit too much heat, and also produces a lot of, uh, or uses a lot of wattage. So Nexa is gonna use quite a bit less power. Look at this, we're using 8,300 watts if I mine Chlor, 
versus 5400 watts mining Nexa versus 3400 watts mining Radiant. So depending on your circumstances, you know, if you've got free power, then obviously the best thing to mine for you would probably be Chlor. Um, and if you have cheap power, then it'd probably be pretty profitable to mine Nexa. And if you have really expensive power, then the best thing to mine for you is probably going to be Radiant. So, you know, strategies change depending on your particular circumstances. But I don't think enough people really pay attention to the yield of the coin. And it's extremely important to, to pay attention to that if you're not selling immediately. Now, if you are selling immediately, let's say you sell every three days or every week, well then... You know, perhaps it's best to mine what is most profitable and then swap it to whatever coin is your coin of choice. But for me specifically holding long term, uh, I typically try to mine what I'm going to yield the most of if it's in the top four or five most profitable coins to mine. And then I'll hold out and hopefully it'll work out well. But I guess time will tell. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the content and this helped you in any way, please do me a favor, hit that like. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I'll see you guys in the next one.